Hi guys, so I'm doing a how do I record my videos part 2. Well, my last video, I mostly talked about like the things I use and equipment and stuff. Not really much on the filming and there were like a lot of stuff I learned along the way. So that's why I'm making a second video. Someone did ask me in the comments, how do you film? How do you film like with one hand? Are you filming by yourself? Is there someone helping you? What is this sorcery? I do all the filming, editing, and everything by myself. I did before, like, I would ask, like, my mom to, like, help me film, like, once, and her thumb was, like, over the lens, so I fired my mom. And I don't know that many people that would like to just come over and just watch me cook all day. But it's actually not really that hard to film while cooking. Well, at the beginning, it was a bit hard because I didn't even have a tripod. Not until, like... Maybe like a year or something, I got a tripod because I didn't really believe in buying anything like right in the beginning just for like videos. I said this previously in my old video, but in the beginning, I would use an iPhone, an iPhone 5 and a Samsung 4 or 5 ish or something. In my beginning videos, up until the summer ish, I upgraded to a Samsung and Next Mini, which I'm using right now. After playing a bit with my camera, I realized there's a way to create this soft and light look for my videos by clicking mode and going to program and clicking FN at the corner and set this top left number to 3 and change the white balance to fluorescent white or tongue set. This is how it looks without the settings and this is how it looks when I add on the settings. And both photos is with my lighting equipment. And just for funsies, here's my face without lighting, and here's my face with lighting, and this is with the settings edited like I did earlier with the program and mode. And another feature that I really liked on this camera is being able to go back onto the videos that you recorded and you could save some photos from it, or like take screenshots of it. Like here I'm playing the video and I click pause and capture and it saved a photo of It's great for if you want to make step by step photo tutorials for your blog. Before when I was recording I had to stop a lot to take photos and that was really a big pain. What I also liked about this camera is being able to send my photo just by clicking it and sharing it and I could send it to like Facebook, Picasa, Flickr, Dropbox, and email and you can send it to your phone if you have the app downloaded. Sometimes I want to upload stuff onto my social media sites like Instagram. I don't even need to use any wires for this. It's perfectly fine to use a phone to record as long as it records at least 720p and I had a lot of people like would ask me like what kind of camera are you using and I would just be like I'm using my phone and they just be like oh really? It's just a matter of like good lighting. You should have a well lit room but for photography I would it's fine too but if you want to up it a little bit lighting is always good. In the beginning yes I would cook with one hand and film with the other hand the entire time and a lot of people complain about it being shaky but they still watch the video. It was only like a handful of people that really complained. You should have all your ingredients and stuff weighed out and right there so you could just like dump it all at once. Like let me just show you like a little example. Two different ways I would put my tripod. One, the tripod would either be on the desk and just facing down onto the food, but that gave me like less room on the table to work with when I put the tripod on the table and I had to make sure the tripod legs didn't show in the camera. And the second way, which is also annoying, I would just like had the tripod standing as tall as I can or as much as it needed to be and I just like put the tripod like on, like right in front of me as I'm cooking and slightly tilted forward so I could get a better angle of what I'm cooking. And for like speaking and stuff, I do wish I could like, you know, speak and cook at the same time, but I just can't multitask. Like I just really want to focus on the recipe. Don't have that kind of talent to like speak and cook at the same time. Like I don't know how other people do it. And I just do not feel like looking good or like doing my hair or face or makeup or dressing up nice. Like my hair would be like up in a bun as I'm cooking and I'll just be wearing my glasses and it's just not pretty. And 
don't think my kitchen looks good enough for me to be constantly filming anything other than the table. What did I write? After recording all of the cooking, I would just edit that and I would edit in the voiceover using this snowball ice uh, microphone. That gives me time to like, you know, say a few witty things and I could edit in and out whatever sounds good. It really depends on you, what you're more comfortable with. It just like the way I've edited and did things kind of changed throughout the whole time. Like some people do prefer just like talking and cooking at the same time. Some people are more shy like me and would rather do the voiceover later. But it's really up to you how you want your channel to be. This is a poster board. I use this mostly for like um photos and sometimes cooking but if I get this dirty it's like game over. I got this for like a dollar or like maybe like 50 cents from the Dollar Tree. It's just a plain white poster board and sometimes I would try to add like little props around it like a teapot or and I also used like food trays like a very close-up photo of your food on food trays. I use like plaid ones and like heart ones and I also have like little napkins sometimes you could use that as a backdrop also. It's something better to look at and sometimes I also use scrapbooking paper like this is just little rose design. It just like fits in with the theme like my theme is sort of like simple and with some pink if I could add in some pink and just like these little touches that kind of makes the video a little more, gives the video a little bit more personality. Okay, imagine this is my kitchen table. I don't cook on here, <laughs> but right now we have guests over and I just don't want to like frighten them. Okay, first, yeah, the, you know. First you have the poster board. Pretend this is my mixing bowl or something. And here's the spoon, here's the piece of paper. Put this under, what are you doing? Now, zoomed in, it looks like this. Before, when I did not have a tripod or the luxury of owning a tripod, I would just make sure I have all my ingredients. Pretend these are ingredients. These, these are moisturizing balms. Moisturizers. Not, not balms. I would have to hold my camera with one hand. You don't want to spend like your whole video just like weighing out ingredients or like trying to find things. I'd have like a camera in one hand, I'd just be like this and like quickly have everything ready so I could just pour it in and mix it and whatnot. <laughs> One time I think I tried taping my phone to a vacuum cleaner and that didn't really turn out that great because I would want different angles and I would want to take I wouldn't want to take it out to take pictures and that was just a pain. I don't want you to think that you need to run out and buy all these things to record YouTube videos. I really think that YouTube videos are special compared to like TV and other stuff because it kind of has the homemade touch. It's like obviously made by someone who's at home and is lonely and doesn't have a camera crew or the resources or the money or anything in life. I think most YouTubers, they do things alone by hand just to record it, but I do my best to not to be. When I'm not using a, a tripod, it's usually because it's like some kind of emergency, like something's like on the stove right now and I don't have time to sit at the tripod and I have to like be on that. Cooking and recording here with, by yourself is kind of tricky, but it's not impossible. And you just have to be really, really prepared. You have to think more about the content and what you're creating and what you're showing. This is like the reality of this video. Like I'm filming in my bathroom right now and this is my toilet and this is my shower, which I try to cover. <laughs> and thank God I have like white um, curtains. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, subscribe as always. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments or ask me on one of my social media sites. I'll list them down below. And bye!